What's going on guys, today I'll be showing you my new software Bagos Quick Cleaner. It'll help increase performance on any PC or laptop. And uh, yeah, let me just give you a run through. The first thing you want to do is join my Discord server. I have a tutorials tab and resources where you can just click and you'd find my program right here. Then you want to click Bagos Quick Cleaner and you'll be taken to this link which shows my entire program. And I'll give you a rundown on what it does. Essentially what my program does is it deletes a lot of things from your computer that come stock with windows you can also improve performance and privacy which is a major key factor in improving fps i'll give you a rundown on what some of this means so for example when it disables game dvr it's actually one of the things that would actually decrease fps like the game bar you'd have on your screen also by disabling game dvr you can also have this and this is a major key factor in increasing fps and let me get to explaining what that is so basically what enabling hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is it's a setting you can enable in windows settings where you can increase fps just by turning it on and what this does is that it finds the most popular games and it goes in its registry files and makes it automatically set to the high performance option which is really good so for example if you use this tweak and you had fortnite installed beforehand it'll go in settings for you and actually increase the fps by changing it to high performance and other options like set mouse acceleration to off and set it to default as well it's kind of self-explanatory on what it does but it basically makes you have no mouse acceleration it doesn't really smooth your mouse either so you get that good aim and it also decreases keyboard and mouse input delay through registry files if you didn't know microsoft actually tracks you and sends data to their database to improve your advertising etc and showing you stuff that you already looked for in the past by disabling all of this you actually have less processes running on your cpu in the background i'll put up a screen right now of one of the people using my software as you can see the processes on the cpu are a lot less it's because it disables all of these things in the background and yeah it's pretty good because you can actually get more fps from that and another thing i want to show you is what people think of my program before i released it all of these i did not ask them to talk really good about them i genuinely wanted them to criticize it and think if it's good or not and yeah it seemed like everyone liked it so far and i promise you it's not a virus in a second i'll tell you how to install it so basically after you click the link in the discord if you look on the right side where it says releases you click this and click download and i forgot to mention that if it gets blocked or you can't download it or it says it's a virus make sure you have anything virus related disabled and i promise you it's not a virus and i'll show a screen right now of my code going through a virus scanner the only reason why it shows up as a virus is because my code that you downloaded is actually an exe file but i promise you it's not a virus and basically how you disable your antivirus is that you go down to virus and threat protection settings in windows security click manage settings and turn everything off so after you have my program installed and turning off antivirus right click it and click as run as administrator so the first thing you want to do is create a restore point in case your pc gets messed up or you didn't like it for example just click one this will boot up simply click file export and then type out any name you'd want and just click save on windows 11 it'll actually create an auto restore point but if you're on windows 10 this window will pop up all you would have to do is click create enter any name click create after it applies just click ok so the second step you want to do is just click to and it clears out all the log cache and cache you have on your computer after you cleared it make sure you click three and click enter that does most of the work on my program and it doesn't really affect your computer in the worst way possible it literally just uploads your computer or move background processes you don't need it 
If red tech show up, just ignore it. It just tries to find uninstalled programs and uninstall them. Give it a second, your PC will actually freeze for a second. But if this doesn't move, just click it a few times and it just goes back to normal. Click four and enter. That actually gives you less delay to your mouse and keyboard. And click five to just clear out your DNS cache. I do not suggest clicking these unless you have like apps on your computer that are corrupted or let's just say in general, a lot of things is messed up with your computer. And let's say you don't know where to find where the problem is. I then I suggest using these. But for now, we're just going to skip it. After you do one to five on my program, click 420 and enter and it'll actually shut down your computer. You have to manually turn it back on. But after you turn it back on, all the tweaks will be applied. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is how the desktop looks. I'll show you the process amount I have at the moment. I have about 140. And that's only with me running Vegas and OBS. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, another thing is on the bottom right, it shows military time and the date. And it's in military time because it actually changes the time as well. The desync, all the other settings you have on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe. And yeah, also my Discord server, give me feedback if you like it or not. And in the future, I might tweak around and play with it and give updates on it. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. That's about it. Uh, like and subscribe, bro.